Hello everybody and a very good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Tuesday morning, 4th of April, uh, rattling through the week, heading towards the Easter bank holiday weekend. Who's got the weekend off? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. You, excuse me. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Who's got the weekend off? This guy, yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, George has as well. Johnny? Oh, Saturday, Sunday, whoop, whoop. Um, there's someone, oh, 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 oh. Not all of us, not all of us have the weekend off. No, we don't. Oh. Uh, some of us are working, Ben, some of us are working. <laughs> Actually, I love working it because it's a great time to work as well, so I absolutely love it. Morning, Debbie. Morning. Um, I will be working a little bit this week. I'll be busy putting together an Easter egg hunt. Uh, for the kids. I find that really sweet actually that my 11-year-old uh, um, has decided she still wants to do an Easter egg hunt this week, uh, this weekend, which, uh, which fills my heart with, with joy because I thought they'd got a little bit too old for that, but no, they both want to do it, which is nice. Anyway, uh, <laughs> welcome to, yeah, George is up for it. He'll get his sister to find all of the chocolates. He'll probably like sit in his room on his phone going, oh, you can do it. And then she'll find all the chocolate and then she'll have to share it with him. I've yeah, always wanted that. to do an Easter egg hunt. Oh, you could come around my house yeah, and do I've one. Yeah, I've never done it. Because I've never, I, like, with my little grandkids, I've never been, because I've always been working. I've always worked Easter Sunday. So oh. I've never done an Easter egg hunt with them. So I've always wanted to see the little faces and things like that. But oh. I don't know. I'd love to do it. Well, yeah. if you were up this way, you could have come round mine, but I think you're down there, aren't you? Um, I am, I'm down, um, down south. Mm. <laughs> uh, I bought, sorry, I don't know how we got into this at the top of the show, but I bought these <laughs> Easter eggs, um, like the little ones that you can search for, and then apparently, yeah, there's like a, well, not apparently, there is, there's a QR code on the back and you scan it, and you can set up your own little digital Easter egg hunt for the kids, so they can Aww. do it via elect the A thing, and then do it on their phones oh, at the same time. Oh, that sounds brilliant. Yeah. Love that Next one. Next level Easter egg hunt. Anyway, uh, we are, uh, we're looking <laughs> forward to, we're looking forward to Easter uh, with our Easter deals on the website. And right I've got a great deal today where you can pick up the rotating board Nancy Tote uh, and some aqua pens for free uh, within that bundle. Uh, that's on the web right now. And also today, it's Tuesday which means it's £10 Tuesday. Whoop, 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 whoop. And there's loads of deals on the website right now. £10, $10 before your uh, club discount. So you're talking, aren't you? £8, $8. And there are some absolute corkers on there. There's some amazing deals that need to be snapped up. Uh, you can find those by clicking on the £10, $10 Tuesday link on the website. All that to come. And we've got a brilliant day lined up for you today as well. Launch party a little bit later on from six where we, we will 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 be we will be we will we will be back in the main studio. Um, we've got launch day coming up for you as well with some brand new quirky stamp sentiments and we're going to preview that and a whole host. Do you know what? I've never had so much stuff in front of me <laughs> as far as the show you is have concerned. Got a rather full um a full shelf yeah. of goodies I've under got, there, Mr. Mosby. I've got lots of goodies. Two full shelves under here. I've got a chair there full of deals, a chair there full of deals. I've got more deals over here. Um, it is going to be a brilliant day. Get ahead, shop the day, shop the £10 Tuesday deals. Uh, and I'm very excited. You've already seen her, but let's give her a big introduction that she deserves. <laughs> she was my partner yesterday. She's back again today to partner me for the whole day. Uh, it's the one and only, the Barnsley bombshell herself, the wonderful Debbie Robinson. Barnsley <laughs> bombshell, I like that one. Yes. The blonde bombshell, Barnsley <laughs> bombshell. Uh, in the lovely studio that we're not used to working in. I'm no, we're not. It. Loving it. Uh, so, yes, absolutely. And I'm really excited about... Um, I loved our last lot of quirky stamps yeah, that we brought fun. out. And we've been on and on and on about getting some more different quirky stamps out there. And we have risen to the... I say we. I always say we. It's like me. No, it isn't. I have nothing to do with them. Uh, Leanne and the <laughs> team rose to the challenge and brought some more fabulous quirky sentiment stamps out. And I love these, Ben. You're going to love them. I'm going to start with my favourite one, which all guests must be approved by the dog. True. <laughs> Absolutely, any dog lover out there absolutely should have that lovely quirky sentiment in their in their life. Um, so because we've got the dogs, we can't leave out all the uh, pussy cat lovers out there as well. So life is better with a cat. Yes. I've got a gorgeous set of friends who that would apply to mm. instantly Aww. and I think would absolutely uh, be the right cards to send to them. Um, this one I love. 
Now, I'm going to I'm gonna have to read this on the side because I, there's so much to this one. I'll try, I'll try and do it that way. In fact, George, can you get in close? Can you get in close? It might help me out there. Uh, because Lord gave me coffee to change the things that I can and wine to accept things that I can't. Yes. <laughs> I love that one. I think that's a really good one as well. Um, oh, one that I say to the kids all the time, the grandkids, uh, I love you to the moon and back. Oh, yeah. Isn't that just beautiful? I love that one. Um, we've got, now, I, I, <laughs> I think of Liam when I see this one. Uh, sorry, did I um, just roll my eyes at you? Uh, sorry, I, I start again. Sorry, did I just roll my eyes out loud? Yes. I think of Leanne every single time mm -hmm. with that one uh, because that is something she would definitely um, have approved of when it came to those designs. You love this one, Ben. Families are like fudge. Yes. Mostly sweet with a few nuts. That's exactly right. I think we've all right. got a family like that, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. In fact, I think everybody could um, definitely, um, what's that word? Relate to Relate. that. Relate, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much, Relate. Uh, we've also got Smile, Life is Beautiful. Um, I don't think that's at all quirky. I think that could come into all sorts of different um, styles of your cards and things mm. like that. And as if you've noticed, a stamp is a stamp, Ben. At the end of the day, a stamp can go on with quick dry inks, it can go on with your pigment inks, it can go on with your water reactive inks, you can stamp onto vellums, onto acetate, onto cardstock, you can stamp on a whole heap of things and then there's so many things that you're going to be able to use this. This could be the inside of a verse, it could be the focal part of a card, it could be in your scrapbook pages, in your journals, it could be just on your lovely, you know, little home deco pieces, doing your little yeah. small cheap frames with your colours of your, you know, your walls and your living rooms or in your your halls wherever you're going to put it and it could be that you pop that into there and it could be a lovely home decor piece as well yeah it could be these are fabulous stamps i absolutely love them i know you're going to love them too and you could equally going to love the price that ben will tell you all about in a moment i certainly will yeah they are just um, a brilliant set really really fun uh, a few hellos coming in and we'll give you that price uh, loads of you watching already this morning rachel's with us on this hustles uh, linda arm says good morning from maryland uh, everyone good morning zoe carver says morning everyone from a west sussex a, a, a west sussex sunny west sussex um, and she sent me loads of different emojis here. Uh, she sent me a wave, a horse, a dog, a chicken, a duck, and another wave. It's like old McDonald's farm on the emojis today. I like that. Uh, Eleanor joins us from Pennsylvania. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just thought of a, I just thought of a r really bad joke there for a second. Really bad joke. I won't, I won't tell it. Uh, Jeffrey's in saying happy Tuesday, Ben and Debbie and Rachel and all the so uh, superstar CC CTV crew and folks here. Hello, Jeffrey. Hi, Lynn, who says, hi, Ben, Debbie, the crew, the wonderful social superstar, Rachel and everyone. Hope you're all well and enjoying your day. We are. Um, Candy's in from Portland, Oregon, saying a big hello to all my fellow crafty peeps, Debbie, Ben and all the crew. Uh, Annie says, good morning from a sunny Brizzle. Hello. Hi, Lynn, uh, the hashtag girl life granny from the sunny Isle of Wight. Hello. Uh, and Kirsty D says, my mum is doing uh, an Easter egg hunt for my nieces and nephews. Uh, she's got my brother's dog now and she's bought an Easter egg hunt kit for her too. Oh, I can't wait to see that. But it'll be, obviously be the special doggy chocolate, won't it? Because dogs can't have chocolate, not proper chocolate, not good for them. Is that in grapes as well, I found out uh, very recently. <laughs> I found out that the other day about grapes. Grapes, yeah. yeah grapes like apparently grapes. aren't good for dogs no, either. Not. No, mm. no, mm. not good for Apparently they're poisonous. Yeah, they are. Yeah? Yeah, they are. Grapes and chocolate. Uh, and Christy Mahoney says, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're what? watching Coronation Street. No, I don't watch that. That's okay, because that, that's where I found it out from, Coronation Street. Oh, uh, is that what happened? You said yes, you said there was yes, a very sad storyline. There was a very story sad line. story. Ooh, caught me unawares, Ben. Caught me unawares, it did. Mm, mm. Uh, it's funny what you can learn from Corrie, isn't it? Uh, and Christine says, good morning, everyone. I love these quirky stamps. There are things I would say, especially the eye-rolling one. <laughs> oh, lol. Uh, and Zoe says, never did an Easter egg hunt as a kid. The in-laws do one every year. Uh, Hubby's brother hid one year when drunk, and we never found them all. Yeah, did, uh, a map is now drawn. Only one child, rest of us big kids, big bundle. Bundle? Bundle! Uh, <laughs> love an Easter egg hunt. I'm really looking forward to it. The only thing, when I do an Easter egg hunt, sorry, I will get around to this in a second. I, I usually um, do it and hide it and plan it 
And then uh, obviously Laura, I mean, yeah, my wife's the same age, well, a bit older than me. Uh, so she kind of gets the clues quite quickly and then she kind of spoils it a bit because she helps the kids out. And it's like, no, let's let the kids do it. It's not for you, it's for the kids. Stop, give, stop giving them all the answers and the hints and stuff. The idea is you send them off on the Easter egg hunt and then you get an hour's peace and quiet <laughs> whilst they try and find it. You're ruining it if you help them do it in 20 minutes. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at the quirky sentiment stamps. 11 piece showstopper deal. This is is brilliant right so if you want to just go for the stamps on their own you can if you want to get them individually you can but the showstopper deal brings you an extra 22 pounds or 31 dollars worth of product just for 10 pounds and that extra product you're getting is two of our ink pads and the rocker blocks you're getting the full pack of rocker blocks all four of those uh, plus we're going to give you as i say two of our ink pads included in there as well so you've got the opaque pigment in the parakeet uh, and same again in your um is that the pink tulip Yes, it is. So you're getting those in there. That would normally set you back, as I say, um, 21 pounds or 31 dollars. You pay an extra tenner and you get all of that, plus all of those stamps, just 30 pounds, 34, 41, 32 is your platinum price on this. I just think this is a really, really um, fun set. And like Debbie was saying, you know, stamps can be the focal point of a project. Stamps can be inside your project. You can have stamps on your uh, tags. You can have stamps on your home decor items, on your boxes. You can use them for your um, wrapping paper as well, if you like to create your own wrapping paper. And these really are a lot of fun, um, particularly if you have got, you know, people in your family, people in your sort of uh, circle of friends who love a bit of a giggle. All of these you're going to get. It's the, f uh, the first time we've launched this full collection together. I would jump in and grab it if I were you, because I, I just think it's so much fun. Some bunny loves you. Mm -hmm. This one is super cute. I love you to the moon and back. I remember when, um, I can't think of the story, but there's a, um, a story, a little kid's bedtime story that ends like that. It's the, I think it's the mummy rabbit and the baby Aww. rabbit. And they talk about how much they love each other. Aww. And um, it ends with the mummy saying, I love you to the moon and back. We used to read that to Daisy when she was little. Oh dear. Uh, families are like fudge, uh, mostly sweet with a few nuts. That is definitely the family here at uh, Crafters TV. And I could, uh, I could name a few nuts here, but I shall, uh, I shall keep shtum on that one. Well, you're looking over at your No, I wasn't looking at you. No, I was. you look across? No, I was looking at you to go like, oh, yeah, we know, oh, we yeah, know yeah. a few yeah. nuts, we don't we, we do Debbie? We do know a nut or two. Yeah. Yes, we do know a nut or yeah. two. You're not a nut. No. no. <laughs> um, <coughs> next in the collection, yes, if you've got a cat one, you've got to have a dog one. So life is better with a cat. Uh, true that. Miss our little cat. Oh, no, bless, bless her. her. Um, all guests must be approved by the dog. That is just brilliant and <laughs> so true. I think that anyone who owns a uh, dog knows that that is 100% true. Uh, you've then got this one here, which is uh, very funny indeed. Sorry, did I just roll my eyes out loud? <laughs> I can just... Think of how many people that would be suitable for. And I think that gets more suitable if, if you're like me at home. As, as you get older, I think that one gets even yeah. more suitable, particularly. Uh, this one's great as well. Lord, give me coffee to change the things that I can and wine to accept the things I can't. <laughs> Might be beer in some instances. Uh, and lastly, like you say, this one's less quirky, just quite a nice little um, sort of positive sentiment really it is Smile. A lovely, yeah life is beautiful um so it's a lovely collection of uh, sentiments that you're going to use day in day out 30 pounds 34 41 dollars 32 is the price for the showstopper deal where you get the rocker rocks and those two ink pads just for an extra tenner should be setting you back 20 pounds 30 dollars a really good way to jump in and grab all of those if you want any of them individually they are available individually and if you do uh, go to the website hit the shop the day button plus don't forget to check out today's easter deal and of course the 10 pound tuesday offers which do tend to sell out very very quickly indeed right let us go over to debbie i normally go that way but we're in studio two today so she's i always feel a bit paranoid here because they're right they're over your shoulder you see the, the demonstrators <laughs> so i feel i've got to be on best behavior uh I let can see everything oh she can it. see everything i love it when we're in it i can see absolutely everything it's like we're so close we're in touching distance we are we're in like touching distance <laughs> No, look how close we are. Look how close. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yay! Uh, oh, God, wait, wait. 
There we go. There Literally. we go. Uh, what are you going to show us? Oh, I'm going to start with I love you to the moon and back because I love you to the moon and back, Mr. Mosby. Ah. Um, it's a lovely sentiment. It really is. And we say quirky. There's nothing quirky about this. It's absolutely beautiful. We're going to we're going to do lots of them. But I'm going to show you about priming stamps. Now, this is brand new out of the packet, so it needs a bit of a prime. Um, and the reason I say that is because they're in, tran in you know, transport or transportation um, and when the in the manufacturing process, um, there could be a little bit of residue left behind. So we like to make sure that that stamp is pristine and clear before we start stamping with it because that sometimes you'll see that ink pools onto a, onto a stamp and when mm. it pools onto there it gives you that dotty effect so it doesn't give you a smooth um, smoothness when you stamp no matter what stamping platform you use whether you use the stamping platform with a magnetic base whether you're going to go for that showstopper and get the rocker blocks in there as well yeah it, i promise you it, it makes a difference just by doing a couple of seconds just to give it a little prime um and also because our lovely fiona a long time ago taught me about stamping and stamping and stamping a couple of times until it's got the ink on and it's got clung onto there and it means that then it just creates oh, i'm thinking then <coughs> Is that you? Yes, that was oh. me. I'm just thinking, did I turn everything <laughs> off? <laughs> Before we started in the studio. Uh, it's my daughter. She never knows. And I, I keep telling her. What? When I'm at head office, 11, 2, uh, sorry, 11, 2 and 4. At uh, 6, 6. Get it right. Don't ring. And I think she gets confused. Ah. So, yes, that's that. I was only worried because I know my phone's there. behind me. I thought it was did me for a second it? then. I was like, oh, no, quick, go turn it off. <laughs> she'll she'll realise in a second. It's better that I remember to do that. Oh, yeah. It'll just, mm. yeah. <coughs> <sighs> Hashtag totes professional here, everybody. Oh, of course we're professional. Of course we are. So, let me show you how to prime. So, first of all, I'm going to drop that down onto my, uh, Debbie, you're going to drop it the right way around. I'm going to drop it down onto the uh, stamping platform. Now, I'm using our what we call our hero tool, but you can use your rocker blocks and things like that. But what I want to do is just show you how to prime. So I've got our watermark translucent clear um, embossing, what you use for heat embossing. But I just give it a little coverage over. And then I give it a little rub into there as well. And then, like I said, you can do a few on a practice sheet or some scrap paper. Just do a little bit of stamping. So by that, let me bring in a let me bring in another piece there, just to show you um, what you can do with it once that's been done. And literally, once you've primed it once, Ben, that's it. You don't need to you know you don't need to worry about uh, having to prime it over and over <laughs> and over again. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to go in with my Oasis over the top. I am going to be using Quick Dry for this one, but um, inks absolutely any inks you want for this but just give it a couple of couple of drops down onto there can you see what i mean by that little bit of a pooling yeah all you need to do is just do that a couple of times and that because this is a quick dry i know it's going to be all right it's not going to smudge anywhere um, but i'm going to just do that again coverage over and re-stamp ah, and I've not, I've not spoiled anything because i'm not onto my projects or anything like that i'm onto a scrap piece of cardstock but it's just a few times to do that and it'll end up getting more and more defined um, when you do it. So that's my scrap, although I'm saying scrap, there's nothing scrap about that. I think I'll use that later on. Um, so let's go in with my main piece and I'm going to hold it down with my um, uh, magnets mm -hmm. and then we're going to come in and we're going to do a couple of little, I'm going to do a two-tone with this one. So I'm going to use Pale Fig and Oasis in the Quick Dry. Nice little taps all over. Yeah and then a stamp get it the right way around debbie there we go and into there now using a little bit of pressure just on and the lovely thing about uh, quick drying especially if you have got a stamping platform if you have missed any areas you don't have to worry because you can go back in uh, and redo that however i just want to wipe off that excess and i'm going to come in with another color and we'll do a little bit of a two-tony look and create like a, a really nice um I say ombre, but they really they really match each other, these two colours. Mm. I know they don't look like they do, but they really do look nice when they're brought together. Yeah. So this is the pale fig. Pig. Fig. I oh, know, no. I know. Pale pig pale. fig. I keep doing it as well. I have to stop myself. I have to stop myself. Uh, so I'm just going to cover that over the top as well. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of um, dabbing around in areas. I'm not going to do it all. I just want to have a couple of little bits of that pale <laughs> oh, I did it again! I'm just like pale. So why can't we just rename why the pale pig? Why can't we just pig? name it pale pig? Yeah, makes it easy, doesn't it? <laughs> it makes it so much easier. Pale pig. It's 
so much easier, it really would. And then going in, and now it gives it like this purple kind of effect. And if I want to add a little bit more, I can go back in and I'll just dab it down in. I'm only going in a section, I'm not going all the way across. A little bit there, and then go back in. Really put that into place. Now, if you're using your rocker blocks, it would be kind of difficult to do it with your rocker blocks to do this kind of technique. However, if you've got a stamping platform, you're good to go. Do we have stamping platforms in stock, uh, um, Johnny? The 8 by 8s gone, but we do have a it's stamping plate uh, collection, 4x4 uh, four four and 6x6 six six in the mat. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So there you go. Now you can see you've got like a two-tone of the blue with the pink. I'm going to say pink, purple, yeah. and created a lovely two-tone effect. And then when I've also I've done with mine is I've used one of our nesting dies to create um, a little mat and layer. So if I just pop that there, um, and I've used three of them to create a nice little shape here going off. So I'm going to come in with a bit of glue. Mm -hmm. And let's go in. In fact, I think my next layer, I'll put a little foam pad or two oh, underneath yeah. it. Um, just whilst you're sticking, I say good morning to Rhonda who's joined us in Oak Park, Chicago, 5 a.m. 5 a.m.? Um, yeah. I think this Ooh. is going to be my very first ever entire wake up call, lol, says Rhonda. Let us know if you make it all the way through. Um, uh, <laughs> our Rachel says, Can I ring Debbie now? Um, I think she, she switched <laughs> it off now, Rachel. Don't. Don't. Get it, Rachel. Go on, go on. Ring her. Ring her. Ring her. Um, and Christine says, uh, ben, the kids are watching. Bunnies hide the eggs. I know the Easter bunny hides the eggs, but it doesn't in our household oh. anymore because the kids are too old. So I have to do it now. Kids are on holiday. I have to, I have to do it, you see, because the Easter bunny stopped coming a few years ago. <coughs> you know, you see, so I, I have to take over the job now of the Easter bunny. <sighs> the Easter bunny is real, Ben. He brings eggs. Mm. He hides them in places. Yeah, not to 15-year-olds, though. Does he not? No, not in our household, he doesn't. So I, I have to do it. I, I, I had a letter from him a few years ago saying he's not going to do it anymore, so now I've got to do it, unfortunately. Has he retired? He's retired in our house. Retired yeah. in your house. Uh, yeah, I've used, um, do you recognise the paper? That did, I did tell you that I was starting to reuse uh, lots of our papers. Come on, let's test your paper oh, knowledge. Oh, don't. It's, I, can um, hear, I can hear, um, I can hear um, producer Johnny and Mia saying something. It's not It's not safe with flowers. It's, um, Be, oh, what the heck was that paper pad called? Beginning uh? of spring. Beginning of spring. Do you know the beginning of spring paper yeah. pad? Uh -huh. With the matching coordinating oh, card with the stuff? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that that's what that's from. Um, so I've done myself a little fold back card. Um, this measures in at six by six. So I've it literally taken from a A3 piece of our multi-purpose card stock. So it's 12 by six, scored at three inches, scored at six inches. And then my mats and layers, I've used craft card with this one. Um, and it literally is just a five and three quarter inch square and then a five and a half inch of the paper just to go on to create that lovely little mat and layer. So I'm just going to pop this down because I love the colours and it's, as always, mm. I choose my paper and then choose my inks around it. And that's why I chose the um, Oasis and the Pale Fig. 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 Pale Fig. Um, onto uh, this colour because I thought it kind of complemented. Yeah. So just by, and I say complemented, you can see how lovely that actually works. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue. Oh, look at me. I'm so messy. I forgot to wipe up my ink. Um, I'm going to just use a... Um, yeah, there we go. I'll pop that round. And this is how I do mine. When I'm wanting to make sure I get the glue, I just turn it over and then I kind of line it up and then just pop down a couple of bits of the glue just onto half of that side. And then turn that back over, pop that down, and then I'm just gonna finish that off with a little, as always, I love my bows. I'm gonna pop a little bow just in that top corner. Yeah. And I've got myself a couple of little gems just to uh, add little jump. Oh, come here, you little gem. Um, no, I'll come down here, I'll use them down here. Let's pop. I like to add a little gem or two. Oh, of course. Just I just think it gems. gives it a nice little finish. Yeah. And also as well, added by adding your embellishments, I think it gives it a more luxurious feel too. Absolutely. Do you do you agree? Bill? I think it does. Yeah. The more, yeah. You, more you did, but only only three little gems, isn't it? Uh, well, do I tend to do more? three, but yeah. I know some people do different, uh, di you know, different ones mm. there. But again, um, lovely. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to angle it differently. I keep forgetting we're in a different studio. Sorry there, uh, George. Uh, but I love you to the moon and back, George. Oh. I can't hear him, can you? No. 
That's quite nice, actually, isn't it, when you can't... Oh, no, oh he's just turning himself back on now. now. There you go. Yeah, just for you, George. Just for you. Dr. Ben. Dr. Ben. <gasps> Very, very nice. And a lot of you saying that you need to get these stamps. They're just fun, aren't they? They're quirky. They that one particular, there's a couple of really sweet ones in there. And there's some really funny ones as well. We'll recap on all of those in just a second. Um, I want the moon stamp to put on every project, says Terry Anderson. It's, it's a really lovely one. And thank you, by the way. Um, if you have got little ones and you want a really cute story, Rachel just reminded me of the story. Um, it's the two, it's the mummy rabbit and the baby rabbit. And they're telling each other how much they love them. It's a really cute bedtime story. Apparently it's called Guess How Much I Love You by Sam McBratney. Um, it's a, such a lovely story. Um, so uh, if you are looking for a nice story for the kids, you're welcome. Uh, Kirsty D says, these stamps are ordered. I could not resist them. Uh, Lynn says, I want that stamp too. When we've just seen, I've got an autistic grandson. And he says, I love you to the moon and back every morning and night. Aww. Um, and Samantha Dawson says, I'm an American living in the UK now. Thank God I found Crafter's Companion because I was desperately missing my crafty supplies. Now I am content. Samantha, uh, lovely to have you with us. Where are you from in the US and where do you now live in the UK? Please let us know. I'm being very nosy, I know. Um, we'll come and have a look, another look at this um, collection in a second, the Showstopper. I'll show you through all the stamps, but if you go for the Showstopper today, you get all the eight stamps, plus for an extra 10 pounds or $10, you get the four rocker blocks and you get the two of our opaque pigment ink pads in the uh, pink, I think you said the pale pig then, you don't even get that one in this. It's the pink tulip and the parakeet that you get. No pale pig or pale fig in this collection. Those three extra items should be costing you an extra £22.31. You pay just an extra 10 today and you get all of that in the bundle. £30.34, £41.32 is the deal on that. Um, Lynn just saying, do crafters sell stamping tools? I don't know what it's called for pressure to stamp uh, the stamp hits the paper together. Stamping platforms, we do, and I will show you those in a second, Lynn. Um, the one that Debbie was using, the 8x8 magnetic stamping platform, currently out of stock. However, uh, we have got a deal with some alternative stamping platforms, which I will show you in just a second. I do just quickly want to show you the Easter deal. Um, it is, of course, the lead up to Easter, uh, getting ready for the, uh, the big event, of course, this weekend. Um, we have got on the uh, show for you, on the website, loads of different Easter deals right throughout the week. One such deal, uh, which is live right now, is our amazing uh, rotating board and Nancy tote bag, where you buy the two and you basically get, I think it works out that you get the aqua pens in the primary for free. So um, it's the Totally Tiffany. They're worth 34, 34.99. Wow. That is incredible. Um, but listen, you get the rotating board in here. So super handy for traveling and crafting on the go. You know, if you're doing your, uh, your coloring, if you're doing, um, you know, maybe some of your writing, uh, maybe you're just doing crafting generally and you want to be able to have uh, that ease of use, have it there on your lap. Maybe if you're using it on the train, on the plane, uh, maybe even in the car, as long as you're not driving. Uh, this is absolutely perfect. You've got your bulldog clip there too. So you can clip that wherever you want it to go on the actual board itself. And as I always say, I know people who use use these for playing board games in the bath. Scrabble, Debbie Fisher. Um, so it's such a handy uh, bit of kit to have. Also, um, as I always say, really handy if you do things like if you make your own cakes uh, and you want to do cake decoration, rather than having to sort of like fuss and pick them up and turn them around, you can pop your cakes, uh, the cake stand on the uh, actual t table and turn it around. Same as if you um, do any painting, you know, maybe you do your own pottery, for example. Maybe you're like our very own Charlotte and you have your own potter's wheel. Um, Yes, pot Charlotte does have a potter's wheel. Yes, um, and you want to make your own pots and paint them. Again, that is absolutely perfect um, for doing that with as well. Now, you don't just get the uh, rotating board in the deal. We give you something to put it in, which is the perfect partner here, that Nancy tote. Look at that, fits absolutely perfectly and snugly inside the bag. You can just take off the clip, pop that down the front. You've got so much room in there as well then to pop in more of your A4 paper, some of your crafty tools. You've even got a little pocket at the front there which buttons up uh, to pop your bits and pieces in and as always with Totally Tiffany um, see-through wipe clean uh, you've got the zip detail on the top there and that is a perfect little bag I know people actually who use that outside of craft as well and just have that as a little bag maybe just pop in all your essentials uh, if you're going to the beach I've seen people say that on quite a few occasions uh, but that's not all you're getting in this deal because then you're also going to get for free within the bundle uh, your aqua pens in the primary colors uh, of course here you're getting uh, 12 pens they're worth 25 pounds 
uh, you're getting the jewel ended pen, so brush nib one end for those fine uh, flicks of color, the ultra fine nib the other end, and of course with these being um, uh, water soluble as it were, you've got the ability to mix and match these all up with the colors that you've got. So you've obviously got all your primary colors in there, mix these to make your uh, secondary and tertiary colors, but of course, if you add water, you've then got all of the different hues of the colors that you've got in there originally as well. So we say 12 pens, 12 colors, but it is a whole host more than that uh, that you're getting in this bundle. Buy those two, get that for free. It is only available today, I believe, as our Easter deal. It should be, uh, I don't know what it should be. That's wrong. It should be $57.97 or $74.93, $28.40 today or $33.56, which is an incredible buy. Um, snap that up today. Treat yourself for Easter. Also, just to quickly show you before we go back to those stamps, if you are looking for help with your um, stamping, as Lynn was chatting about, stamping platforms, very, very handy to have. I've got the uh, the six by six one at home with the mat, and it is just perfect again because what you've got here is the ability, as Lynn was talking about, to get that all over even pressure each and every time you stamp with these. You've got your uh, measuring grid on there and your metric and imperial, so again you can get your really accurate results with this. You've got your non-slip feet, and they're spring-loaded as well. So what you've got the ability to do is place your stamp exactly where you want it to go, and then you can uh, press down and have that all over even pressure each and every time that you stamp uh, and you've got the ability to get a crisp clean stamp every time so whether you're going for the stamping platforms or indeed the rocker blocks that you've got within the deal um, these are really really going to help you this deal actually brings you the 4x4 and the 6x6 stamping platform and alongside that uh, you get your stamping mat as well because of course whilst you need the pressure on the top you almost need that give underneath it helps if you've got that sort of um, pressure from the top and the bottom rather than stamping onto a hard work surface have that stamping mat there as well uh, and again that is perfect just for sort of general measuring too because once again you've got all, all of your crosshairs on there all of your um, measurements on the side uh, and along the bottom as well in your metric and imperial um, and 12 by 12 is that so those three perfect together uh, for getting perfect stamps each and every time 16 pounds 21 dollars 60 but like i've said those you definitely want to go for with today's brand new launch which is flying out of the door and I'm delighted about that really really happy uh, that you guys are loving it now if you don't want the full collection um, maybe you have picked up some of the stamps individually um, over in the US or uh, maybe you just want to pick um, one or two of these you can do that but obviously the main value for money is in the full bundle the showstopper bundle uh, where you get all of the brand new eight stamps you get the big rocker blocks as well so all four um, of the rocker blocks you get in that pack plus you get two of our or opaque pigment ink pads too that should cost you an extra 21 pounds 32 dollars not today um it is costing you just an extra two pound two pounds ten pounds or ten dollars um right quickly show you these and read a few more comments these are all of the stamps that you're going to get within the bundle and they are fun i would say six quirky two really super cute and sweet here comes george here he comes in he comes in he comes in he comes in he comes come on george come on george who's a good boy who's a boy come on george come on in you come come on you there you go uh so <laughs> i quite enjoyed that uh lord give me coffee uh, to change the things that i can and wine to accept the things that i can't Funny, quirky, love that. Uh, you've then got this one here, which is, uh, sorry, did I just roll my eyes out loud? That I think is probably our fave here in the studios. Then you've got this one, which is all guests must be approved by the dog. Amazing. Um, it may well be again that you know what that you um, you stamp that onto you know a bit of home decor maybe you know using some of your MDF and use that as a nice little um, you know welcome for people coming into your home like hang it by the door I just think it's brilliant that you've got items like that and and this one very very similar life is better with a cat you know use that for your home decor items as well make gift ideas for people um, you know who are in your life who love their pets then you've got this one here which is really funny too family are like fudge mostly sweet with a few nuts uh then you've got this one which is super cute the one that you saw just a few moments ago i love you to the moon and back really really uh, super cute and lovely uh somebody loves you um, again quite quirky quite fun quite lovable handy for easter again that one 
Uh, and this last one, which I, again, I just think is a really nice, positive, fun quote, uh, smile, life is beautiful. So those are all of the eight stamps that you're going to get. A uh, few comments still coming through. Uh, Samantha Dawson says, I've ordered the rotating board during the cartload show. Uh, gutted, because I want that bag and those pens. I may just have to have, to have two. Well, don't miss out on that today because you get the pens for free pretty much within the deal. So, I mean, no harm in having two rotating boards, is there? You know, have one rotating board for your crafting and as Debbie Fisher would, one rotating board for your board games. Uh, and Samantha tells me uh, she was, <laughs> Samantha tells me she was in Ohio and now in Chester. Ooh. Chester, nice. Chester is a nice part of the world. Yeah. Is, is what, what's, what do you prefer, Ohio or Chester? Uh, let us know. I'm being very nosy today, Samantha, having a full on uh, conversation with you here. Uh, and Brenda Blackler says, stamps in me basket. Boom. Uh, let's get back and see these. Um, another one of uh, Debbie's demos coming up. Uh, we've seen the To the Moon and Back then. Love you to the Moon and Back. Oh, what are you going to be doing for us next? Going to make a little Easter, Easter, because obviously with the Somebody Loves You, I think it's just a real appropriate stamp, yeah. for especially this time of year, but obviously throughout the year as well, because yeah. if, if you love your rabbits, then you're absolutely going to love this stamp. And I love the play on this stamp as well with those lovely ears coming off the top. So for me, we're going to make a little quick Easter basket. I'll show you how easy it is to make that as well in a second. But I've got my stamp ready um, and I'm just going to, again, line it up with my um, uh, stamping platform um, and we're going to do a little stamp with this one so again I'm just going to pop this on so it's the somebody loves you it's so super blinking cute this one it really is um, and just drop that down into the right position I always do this when I'm using a, a stamping platform um, just drop it into the right position pop that down and then we're gonna do a little bit of a, I think I might have a two-tony one again. Yeah, why not? Oh. Um, I'm gonna apply it though a bit differently this time because it's a smaller stamp. I'm gonna go in with, um, ooh, you were teasing yesterday, weren't you? Me? Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you putting at? What, you, what, what are you putting at? My finger. Finger, nice finger. Oh, you, oh, you've had your nails done, have you? Oh, yes, I have. But what? Uh, Oh, what's that? What? what that we can't verbally say it. We can't verbally say what? That we may be... Uh, getting what? That, what? These. Getting those? These. Maybe. Those coming, what? Maybe. Coming Maybe. Maybe coming back? Maybe coming back. What's that date for the diary again? Did you say a date? Yeah, sure the date. date. What, was that? what was that date again? What was that date you said? What was that date again? Was something like the eight, eight, 18th? Like Producer Johnny, you've let the cat Producer out of the bag Johnny's there. let the, the, the uh, bunny yeah, out of the bubbly, basket bubbly. there, hasn't he? <laughs> 18th. Put it in your diary may or may not be seeing the return of the uh, um, big be daubers. Quick. Yeah, a wake up call, uh, definite, set your alarm. Uh, yeah, set your alarm for three, what is it, three and five, isn't it? I think three and five or four and six, I think it is now. Whatever, you know what time to set your alarm for, for a wake up call. 18th of April, you've had the heads up. Don't tell anybody we told you because we'll get in trouble. <laughs> Don't uh, tell anybody we never said anything. Those will come in and then they will sell out. So you heard it here first. Shh, it just everybody. means when you're doing this kind of thing, though, it's mm. really nice and easy to do. Yeah. So I've dabbed it onto the stamp this time and then I'm going to just pop that on and then just push down again and make sure you've got that nice coverage. And this time I've used Damson Wine and Parakeet, so gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Um, now, if you think you've missed a little bit the lovely thing is you can go back in and um, so i could take my ink again and of course there's quite a nice bit on there i'm just going to go back in with um rather than applying any more ink just go back in there we go with my two little ink daubers mm -hmm. finger finger daubers um and then go back in and go back down over the top and just until you're happy with the you know with the which I am now. Look at that. It looks Perfect. wonderful. Yeah, I love. Yeah. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. This is when you can take your things as well. You know, you could take your um, colouring mediums. Now we're in a different studio today, so um, don't really have everything that I would normally have to hand, like colouring pens and things like that. Um, oh, I can see there's one inside of you, Ben. You is want? there? Um, is there like a purple? Well, actually, yeah, I think I might use a purpley one. What? what? Um, I'm just thinking, have you got a purple and maybe possibly... I've got a yellow, so I'll use my little yellow one. We've got one. a heather. He uh, um, orchid. Is heather a purple? Yeah. Orchid? Should orchid. we call me orchid? Amethyst? Purple? Amethyst. Amethyst. That sounds, that sounds about right. Amethyst. Amethyst. What do you yeah. want it in the class? Okay. Any? Any will do, yeah. Yeah, because not, it's not a massive piece, you know, but not, it's not a massive piece to colour. Oh, there's loads to choose from. We'll go with that then, shall we? Yeah. Amethyst. LV3. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Let's have a look. Let's try it on a little scrap bit first before I actually contact it. Because uh, you can leave it plain if you want to. Um, I'll do a little bit just to... Uh, I've got... I've got a lavender blend up here. I could give that you. sounds a nice one. Lavender blend. Yeah. Oh, what is there a pink one? What? A pink. Oh, is there a grey one? Uh, there is a grey. I've got lavender blend. I can do you a. Uh, I've uh, got. Uh, oh, if I got brown grey. I'll have ice, a. I'll, ice grey. I'll, I'll have a grey. What grey do you want? Any grey. Any grey. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, and definitely a pink. Ice. So I've got you an ice grey, a lavender. Ice grey is fine, uh, and, and, and a, a pink. Pink. pink uh, Anything that looks like a pink. Look, bright I wish, pink you, could, or I wish want, you could see him over there, bless him. Do you want to go bright <laughs> pink, or do you want something a bit more? No, pink's fine. Just any pink. Bright pink. Any pink. Just the inside of ears. Inside because of ears. Because you've got a nice well, little a area that you can have one. a little play as well. So you've got a mixture, Perfect. Yeah. Thank that. you. You're, You're so kind. Oh, that's fun. You're that. so kind. Fun. Now we're just going to have a little play on uh, with a colouring. Yeah. And because you've got that lovely little area, so you can do with these. Um, and you don't have to be, you don't have to be really precise with this one either, Ben. Um, but again, just... Uh, oh, is that his little bunny butt at the bottom? I wonder what that was, the little... It's his little fluffy bum. Oh, his little fluffy... That's, that's the rabbit, that's the body, and yeah. the words are going through it, and his little whiskers. Little it's whiskers, so yeah. cute. Little... I absolutely love this one. I really, really do. I love it. Yeah. Um, but somebody, do, some bunny does love you somewhere out there, don't they? They do. And like you said, you know, perfect for Easter, but for anyone who's got rabbits. Yeah. I've yeah. never had a rabbit. Have you ever had a rabbit? Have I? Yes. You oh, you don't rabbit. want to know. Oh, okay. Yeah, poor little uh, oh, sooty. No, don't. Yeah, poor sooty. little sooty. On Easter day of all days. No, no, no. On Easter no, Sunday, no. yeah. Oh. My daughter's when she was about three, Tatanya. I thought you said you were going to, don't say, you said. Oh, oh, oh well, gosh, no, I know, because there might be kids listening. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Poor little bunny. Oh, funny. Look how cute that looks. Um, and then, thank you for that, uh, get me those. I've just, I've just kind of changed it up a little bit. <laughs> I thought I'd just uh, have a little play. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to come in, actually. Yeah, I think I'll just, instead of inking back up, I think what I'll just do is, I'll just pop a little bit. Sorry, my bracelet's catching on there. Perhaps that's a bit harsh, but it don't matter. It'll be fine. It'll ah, be fine. Right. I would normally use, like, crushed velvet or pale... Fig. Pig. Jesus, I can't get that word out right. <laughs> I just struggle with that <laughs> word so much. I don't know why. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to pop that down there. And we haven't got any ink pads either, have we? In so it, yeah? I know. Where do we? No. I know. I know. Do you want me to go and get you some? No, no, no. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And normally, like I said, normally I would um, use um, water reactive. But this is just showing you that, you know, we said that they work in harmony with each other. They absolutely do because you can mix your uh, colours up. I'm just going to come in with a bit of and soften that purple. There we go. That's nice. That's, that's bringing it in. It's drawing your eye in as well to the sentiment itself. Yeah. Again, just take that across and just soften that. Quite a, uh, it's quite a strong colour, the uh, damson wine one. Yeah. Um, but it looks okay. I think we'll get away with that one. There we go. So I've got my lovely little stamp all done, all ready, and now we're going to make our little basket. So I'm just going to clean this up just for a second. Just bear with me while I grab a wipe. Okay. Because we don't want that to go all over our project. Now then, what we're going to do is, and I'll show you how quickly... When I say super easy to make this basket, it's super, super easy. So you're going to take yourself a piece of, and I've used multi-purpose cardstock for this. Now it actually measures at nine inches by nine inches. So if I just put that there and I'll give you the, the correct measurements. You're going to then take your scoreboard and you, so the, for the nine by nine, you're going to score it at three, score it at six on this side. Turn it, score it at three, score it at six. I put my little dotty lines there and then completely forgot. I've chopped it in the wrong way, but... Well, you get, get the gist. And then you're going to pop a couple of, and with your scissors, and the lovely thing about our scissors is that these have got measurements, so you can use it from the full three inches and cut all the way down, because what you want to do is create these little flaps. So from your three, so, so you, sorry, nine by nine, three, six, three, six, Score and put your lines in. So get your um, scoring tool for this one. I'm yep. going to grab mine. Um, and put your lines in to emphasise those folds, like so. And I did say this is a super easy basket to make. It really, truly is. And again, I'm just going to do that on all sides as well. And on that side. I'll just put that one there. Like so. And then these bits are just going to come in to this angle, like so. Can you see that basket there? 
Uh -huh. uh -huh. Now, before we do, I'm going to pop some coloured cardstock onto either side to decorate this. And I've also created a little bit of an handle as well. Now, I don't know if you recognise the papers, but... Um, oh, um, that's from the bunny cut. That's from oh, yes. the yeah, yeah, yeah. Easter. Yep. Now, your handle can be any size. It can be any thickness. It depends on what you want, you know, the, what you're going to be holding in. You can double, um, put two layers, stick two layers together to make it really strong. It depends what you put in. Just putting little chocolate eggs in there. You don't need it um, because that will hold itself. But it measures in at eight and a half inches by an inch. And then I've just popped a little strip of paper uh, to go inside as well. And I haven't gone too far down because these this bits are going to get covered up. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of wet glue onto there. And then I'm going to do a little bit of decoration on the outside of the basket as well. So if you did get... Have we got any of that oppy Easter left? I or think it gone? might be all... We had like a handful yesterday. I would have thought that sold out overnight. Well, it overnight. were a cracking deal, weren't it? Yeah. It was a cracking deal. It truly was. Right. So let me bring in now... So these are going to be my side panels. So I know on this side I'm going to pop my little Easter bunnies. And just bear in mind when you're bringing it up that you get it the right way around. Because if you're thinking about your basket, you don't want to have it upside down. So make sure by just doing a little quick visual, yeah. that's the side. I want that one so I'm gonna pop that just into there lots of individuals available of that collection but I think the bundle we had yesterday is gone has it gone yeah but you yeah. can to be honest for the price of the individuals you can make up your own bundle fairly inexpensive or very inexpensively I say fairly really inexpensively are your um are your little ones uh, the grandkids doing anything they've got an Easter egg hunt I think or? they're doing an Easter egg hunt um yeah, I think, I think they're, they've got an Easter egg hunt planned as well. Um, so, yeah, with, with the mummy. Uh, right, I'm just going to pop my little layers into there. So let me get that one. I want to get the stripes the right way as well. Um, so just think of this, Debbie. Oop. Yeah, that's it. That's how I look at it. When I'm ever doing a decoration, I want to I make sure everything works well. So I'm, um, I have to visually pop it up so I get it in the right place. I don't know about anybody else, especially when it's stripey patterns or you, you've got patterns and you want them to match. Um, I just take my time. So I've just popped myself some little squares. Now, if you remember, these are three by three. So again, if you're doing lots of mats and layers, just take off your framing. I'm not worried too much about this because a little bit of it's going to get covered up. Um, but I just want to make sure my stripes are in the right way. Yeah. So yeah, again, that's the right way. There we go. And then I pop a little bit just down onto that side. And then we'll come on the other side. Oh, now then, I thought I'd not got enough stripes then. There we go. Come on the other side as well. So we've got to decorate all of these pieces at first. So again, pop that. And pop that. You can do the inside decoration as well if you want to. Um, but I'm quite happy because, like I said, this bit is going to get covered up. Um, so let me just pop in now. I'm going to use my tape. I think I'll use my tape. Oh, let's have a look. See what looks neater. Because I'm going to be covering this up with uh, my Some Bunny Loves You. Yep, right, yeah. so I'm going to come in and get me glue. Where's my tape pen gone? There it is. I'll do it with my tape pen. Uh, right, let me just make sure I'm going to attach those two bits together. Right, there we go. So, oh, would help to take the tape pen off, Debbie. Always I works best now yeah, you take the end off. <laughs> Absolutely. So let me just pop my glue just down onto this side. There we go. And then I'm going to just angle it a little bit like on this corner so it like comes up here and then the same with this side as well. So you can see now how it brings together that lovely basket um, area. And this bit is going to attach the handle, it's going to go this way. So it's not going to look too much with a V. You've got this lovely solid strip that's going to come over, uh, over the top. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue just onto that side as well and then stick that down. And then the same on the other side too. There we go. So a bit of glue this corner bit of glue on that corner and then attach those together there we go and there we are Lovely. and then my strip now is going to stick so again I would use to get this either the corner of your table or use your bone folder to get it into that handle shape like so and then you're going to attach either end and you can do it on the inside or you can do it on the outside. On the inside, tuck it in because it'll make it nice and neater. But I'm going to go on the outside with this one. So, okay. again, both sides. But isn't it a quick, easy basket when really you think nice of how... Really nice and easy. It's so yeah. easy. It really, really is. Candy's just saying this would also be adorable with all the new punches as well around oh, the edges. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And like I said, you could do and decorate the inside of your panels as well. Uh, but I'm just going to... 
Are you okay there, Ben? I'm fine. I'm just. Uh, Are you having a little? Um, just having a moment. You just. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, bless you. Right, let me come in with my... Oh, do you know what? I forgot to chop it down. I meant to chop that down. I'm going to have to go back to this one. Oh, that colouring now for nothing because I've not chopped it down. Never oh, mind. never mind. I'll yeah. use it for something else. Oh, I'll use it for something you. else. It'll be fine. So, because I'd already done my mats and layers for this one. And then, again, just pop on. And I decorate this side. And then all I've done with this, Ben, is I have just taken some uh, flowers and I'm just going to do a little bit of um, decoration again um, with... These are flower dyes that I've had in my crafty stash. I'm just thinking, though, wildflowers. Oh, yes. Just thinking wildflowers, just saying. You could be using those in your uh, decoration uh, features as well. But mm. I'm just adding a little bit of... Um, what's the word? Well, the word Titivation, yes. <laughs> Just to titivate and give it a little depth. And also, what it does is it covers up any, do you know any of your little things you might have not got right? Yeah. And you can cover those up as well. But I'm going to do it on the other that side. That is a beaut. They're box. lovely, I aren't they? They really yeah. are. It's a lovely, it's a lovely box design. Don't take two minutes to get it together. And then what I'm going to do is just put one here as well, so it covers up my little handle feature. So again, yeah. I'll just pop a little. And bit again, of like you said, you know whether uh, you know you're creating your own little um, Easter egg hunt for the grandkids or the nieces and nephews coming around. What a lovely way to be able to just create little baskets for them and uh, set them off on their merry yeah. way if they go and collect their little uh, Easter eggs. Or just perfect for, I think it's perfect for like any kid's party as well, something like that. It'd be yeah, great. absolutely. And imagine having lots of those with little legs yeah. scattered around your garden. I just think it's really, really cute. So again, um, a lovely sentiment there. Some bunny loves you. Um, lovely play with the ears and the whiskers and the little tail at the other end. <gasps> Put a little bit of um, cotton on wool oh. or a, or, or a um, what's one of those little ball things what, what cotton, am I thinking cotton balls pom poms pom poms pom poms pom -poms. and if you've gone the bunny if yes. you've got the hoppy collection yes pop the pom pom or if on you've the got the original bit. look at us if you've got yeah. the original easter collection they us. have bunny butts what in them as well what are we doing didn't they pair of us like this <laughs> the original easter had bunny butts in there yes yeah. Yeah, you could be doing that as a so a lovely idea with a lovely stamp that I know once you've got them home you're gonna really enjoy these as well. Yeah, you absolutely will. Uh Kerry says, Kerry and Jerry are watching. Uh Kerry with and Jerry. four West Highland white terriers. Kerry Aww. Jerry. Uh we need two of the quirky dog stamps in extra large size. Uh, and Samantha says, my girls are so excited for Easter, especially because mummy always goes way overboard, uh, despite my husband's best efforts to stop me. Well, the thing is, it's, it's that whole thing, isn't it, again, Easter, because we obviously you know, used to get the, the eggs for the kids, and then the Easter bunny would come, and then they'd have more eggs, and then you'd have like the, the rel uh, relatives sending eggs, and then the, the aunts and uncles, and before you know it, the kids would just have like mounds and mounds of Easter eggs and chocolates. Uh, I've, I've actually sorted Easter for the whole family this year. I even yesterday, because I'm a very kind, very kind man, I even bought Mrs. M uh, an Easter egg yesterday. Oh. I'm just hoping for the first time in the 22 years we've been together that this year she buys me an Easter egg. Because oh. I've never had one yet in 20... I should have bought you one. In 22 years. Oh. So if you're watching Mrs. M, she won't be watching. She might be. You never know. She could be watching. If you're watching, Mrs. M, 22 years. <laughs> and I'm watching <laughs> And it always oh, just tastes better, you. doesn't it? it the chocolate in an Easter egg always tastes better than a bar of chocolate. Oh, you know yeah. Yeah, it's something about cracking that, oh, cracking yeah. that egg open, isn't it? And yeah. Sniffing and being intoxicated by the smell oh. of chocolate. Talking of chocolate, have you seen the cake? Oh, I don't want to have you seen, Don't go that way. Just don't go that way. And it's got eggs on as well. But yeah, uh, there is something about an Easter egg. Uh, George, have you seen the orange twirl Easter egg? There's an orange twirl Easter egg in Tesco's. Other stores are available. Uh, where you can get hold of an orange, a Cadbury's twirl orange Easter egg. Just saying, drop the hint to the missus. Drop the hint to the missus. I'm sure she'll, I'm sure she'll, um, yeah, I'm sure she'll get hold of one for you. Uh, what's that, Johnny? Johnny says, what happens if you get married at Easter? I don't know. 
You live oh, happily ever after. Oh, no. No, no, no. Producer Johnny, we are not doing dad, ja dad, dad, bad dad jokes. Bad, bad, bad dad jokes. We're not doing those today. Although that was good. <laughs> what do you call a rabbit with fleas? Bugs Bunny. Oh. That is funny. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh... I oh, just found a rude one. I'm not going to read that. Uh, what a quick and easy way to make a basket, says Brenda Bibby Woods. And Lois says, that basket is so super sweet. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, don't forget, if you want to go for the full showstopper collection of these brand new quirky sentiments, there it is. Uh, no, I didn't just knock that over and slightly ruin the pack shot, but it's uh, it's it's back there for you. Uh, look, you're going to get the rocker blocks and you've also got the um, the two ink pads in there as well, uh, which should cost you an extra £21, $32. You are only paying an extra 10 for, and you get all of the stamps as well, which I can show you. Uh, what is a bunny's favourite music? Um, is it hip-hop? Hip-hop. <clears throat> hey. um, that's not one of the sentiments, though, by the way. The sentiments are uh, here. Oh, no, Johnny. How does the Easter bunny keep his fur looking good? Hairspray. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Oh, no. What's the Easter Buddy's favourite restaurant? It's what? IHOP. I don't get that. It must be a place in America that is only it? our stateside friends will um, know. I don't get that. Where does Easter Bunny go to get his eyes tested? Um, Hopticians. A what? The Hopticians. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> made that up. Anyway, we're here to show you these stamps. I'm not here to tell jokes all day. What do you think I am? Uh, so you're going to get in this set your Lord, give me coffee to change the things that I can and wine to accept the things that I can't. I love that one. Uh, then you've got, sorry, did I roll my eyes? Eyes? Did I roll my eyes? eyes? Did I roll my eyes out loud? Uh, then you've got this one here, which is so brilliant. All guests must be approved by the dog. Uh, life is better with a cat. Families, well, they're most, sorry, I get this one right. Families are like fudge, mostly sweet with a few nuts. Uh, this one's super cute. I love you to the moon and back. The one that you've just seen on that Easter basket, some bunny loves you. And then lastly, uh, I think that's really cute and sweet as opposed to uh, quirky, but smile, life is beautiful. Those are all of the uh, eight stamps that you can get within the showstopper. If you just want the stamps on their own without the extras, of course, you can go for that bundle. And indeed, if you just want any of the stamps individually, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, 30 34 is the platinum price though, or 41 32 for that showstopper. Let's give you opportunity to check out and just uh, take in some of those amazing jokes that we've just furnished you with uh, ahead of Easter. Uh, apparently I'm getting loads of comments now in the uh, socials. I haven't seen it yet, sending me what an IHOP is. I I'll Google it whilst we have a break. Uh, it's what? No, it's not. Is that true? That sounds bizarre. The International House of Pancakes. Is that right? Have you been to one, George? It, what, are they in the UK? Oh, in the US. Well, I might have to hop over uh, to the US and see you guys at an IHOP. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to have a look whilst you guys head to the checkout. We'll come back in about three or four minutes' time and have a look at yesterday's launch, which proved very popular, that Wildflower collection. Still got some stock available of that, so we'll have a look at that next. Uh, in the meantime, though, head to the checkout. We will come right back. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. 
Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time, so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> oh Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thank you for the messages coming through. Kelly Giambetro says, Ben, I make my hubby an Easter basket of goodies every year, and you've done that for the last 20 years. That is, n that is nice, isn't it? That's nice. I've never, never had one. Zoe says, I bought myself the orange twirl Easter egg. Yay! What's it like, Zoe? Uh, you have to, can you rate it, please? Let us know, because I know both uh, George and... Oh, it's and just delicious, orange oh. twirls. Delicious. Mm. Sandra says, Laura. Hi, Laura. If you're watching, all men are big kids at heart. Get your hubby an egg. <laughs> For just three pounds this year, Laura, you can make your husband a very happy man. She's, she won't be watching. Uh, <laughs> Rhonda, what do you call a transformer bunny? Transformer bunny? Yeah, Hoptimus Prime. <laughs> that was Rhonda. Hoptimus Prime. Transformers, robots in disguise. Uh, shall we have a look at the website um, and have a look at £10 Tuesday because that's going on today. On the web right now, look at these incredible deals. Uh, deals like Totally Tiffany Storage for a tenner, uh, which is amazing. We've got Spectra Noir products in there, our sparkle pens, tenner. We've got uh, stamps and dies in there, a tenner. We've also got in there the 3D scene builders, the uh, celebrate your day, that's a tenner. Uh, keep going, keep scrolling through. Hey, simple creator card dies, a tenner. Uh, we've got edgeables in there, tenner. Interlace dies, there you go, look, in the middle of your screen there, 10 pounds. Scissors, uh, a snip, desktop totes. Look at that um, multimedia die, you're a who? I'm sure that's 20 quid, but it's a tenner today. Uh, you've got the Lisa Buddy bag in there for a tenner. There's loads of deals. Normally, the... Um, oh, there you go. I was just about to say, normally, things like the Lisa Buddy bag uh, get sold out very quickly, and that's gone. Uh, get in there early, because items will fly. 
out of the door um, because when we do five pound Fridays, ten pound Tuesdays, um, things do disappear very quickly. Uh, let's have a look at yesterday's launch, the uh, Wildflower Collection. This proved so popular. Uh, the showstopper gone, but we do still have stock of the uh, original sort of standard bundle, if you like, uh, which brings you everything that you need as far as this collection is concerned. Uh, £63.99 or $79.20 is the platinum price here. Uh, and the paper pad, as we discussed yesterday, is, well, this the best of the year so far, isn't it? I mean, it really is stunning. Uh, layer upon layer of beautiful wildflowers. So much depth and dimension. Gorgeous colour pad. Uh, and again, look at the reverse here. Look how the, the back matches up absolutely wonderfully with the, uh, the front. I mean, again, you don't have to go anywhere else to find your mats and layers. And actually, looking at the uh, reverse of a few of these, you've got some sort of more like manly tones, potentially, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If that was too flowery for the man in your life, I think some of the reverses are a little bit more subtle, aren't they? Um, but just looking through here, I mean, some real works of art. Even, I remember Debbie saying yesterday, stuck with me. I think it was that one you said, or maybe one coming up, you said you wouldn't mind just having your, your, your toilet. I know. Uh, it's just beautiful. The it's, they've just such gorgeous print. It yeah. really is a beautiful print. Um, where they have any scrapbook page, yeah. where they have any car projects, box making projects, um, it's just exquisite. It's like having the outside in. Yeah. Isn't it? Like when you think about those wildflower. Um, you know, areas that just looks absolutely stunning. I can't get over how our, our, our pads are just off the chart amazing. They really are. And it's and amazing. Better you and think better and better every yeah, time. We've set the bar so high, haven't we? And it's amazing to think that each and every time we bring out a new collection or a new pad, uh, that we're then able to make them as stunning as that. You will get that in 6x6 six six size as well. I don't have a 6x6 six six pad here, but you will get that in 12x12, 12 12, in 6x6, six six. and then you also get uh, all of your linen cardstock in there as well. 28 sheets of double-sided uh, linen cardstock, and it's no surprise to see that, of course, all of the papers in here uh, match up beautifully with the colour palette that you've got in your linen cardstock. So again, you don't have to go anywhere else uh, to, to sort of find the colours that match because it's all been done for you. Uh, then in this set, really cute. You're going to get your little uh, 50 sheets of brown paper. Those you use to create the little bouquets for your wildflowers. And you even get the stencil. If you're wondering, how do I create that shape? It's all there for you. You get the stencil. Uh, use it in conjunction with your scoreboard, if you wish, uh, to create a lovely wraparound for all of those flowers. So many different wildflowers that you can create. And if you've got the, the colour for it, you have here. I mean, with all the cardstock, you can create whichever flower you want. Um, and then some. Then you get a load of stamps to go with them too, the Stay Wild stamp set. Those, again, all sort of florally skewed, lots of uh, floral wishes in there. Uh, let love grow. You grow, girl. I think that's my favourite one within <laughs> uh, that set. Got a gorgeous embossing folder in here too. And once again, you know, you, you look at being able to create really quick uh, but lovely looking cards. One run three machine, adding a bit of colour, uh, add one of those quirky sentiments, um, then you've got a beautiful card made very quickly. Lots of love yesterday for that edge die. Uh, once again, plenty of opportunity for colouring, for paper piecing. Um, and then lastly in that set, you've got your wildflower wreath. And again, whether you cut into your cardstock or cut out and create that wreath as a, an individual item to place elsewhere, you really do have a lovely set of dies, stamps, embossing folders, and paper pads for just £63.99. Uh, $79.20 if you are platinum as well. Uh, and of course, still individuals available for you too. So if you do want to get more of those paper pads, I know a lot of people bought this collection um, over on HSN. We've got paper pads available, more of that linen cardstock available for you, more of that brown paper available too. So do check the web uh, and get those individuals and top up your collection. But let's have a look at this uh, collection. I know we saw loads of demos yesterday, uh, but it won't harm to do one more, will it, Debbie? Oh, one or two, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I absolutely adore this collection. It's it's just beautiful. Everything about it. It's not one of those, I don't know how to say overpowering. I don't mean overpowering, but overwhelming collections where you've got that much you don't know what mm. to do with it. I can guarantee every single piece of this gorgeous collection you are going to use not only within the wildflowers, but also take those flowers out and add them as embellishments into your scrapbook pages, onto your gift boxes. Um, there's so much you're going to be able to do with this. And it's a very, 
I said reusable, but you know what I mean by that, mm. where you're just going to use this time and time and time and time again. It really is fabulous. And one of my favourite pieces is the uh, wreath. It's the wildflower wreath. So I've got a bit of gold cardstock, so I'm kind of changing it up a little. Oh, Debbie, get your die cut the right way around, girl. Um, you've got two pieces where you've got the outside piece that will cut out a solid circle for you. And then this one doesn't have the outside cutting edge. So it means popping it together, you've now got that lovely frame piece, which is what I'm going to do on this one. Um, but you've got the ability to cut into your cardstock as well, just by removing the outer frame. So I'm going to come in with my die cutting machine. Huh? Pop that onto there and then run that through. Um, Kelly just saying, by the way, just whilst we're watching you um, talking about Easter goodies. So Kelly says she always makes an Easter basket for hubby. She said, I should have mentioned, Ben, that I too have never gotten any Easter goodies. Despite you, her Kelly. making him an Easter basket every year, did you yeah, say? Yeah, for 20 years. She never got any Easter goodies. I, I know how it feels, Kelly. I know how it feels. That's got to hurt. It does hurt. It does hurt. It does hurt. <laughs> Uh, Julie says, what kind of jewellery do bunnies like at Easter? Oh, God, here we go. Four, 14 karat gold. Oh. <laughs> and why did the bunnies fly home for Easter? Uh, why did the what? Why did the bunny fly home for Easter? I don't know. Why did the bunny fly home for Easter? He didn't have the hair fair. <laughs> the hair fair. Uh, and one more from Julie. has got all the Easter jokes here. Why did the bunnies go on strike? Um, no idea. Because they wanted better celery. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you can come That's in, Julie. That's a good one. <laughs> Better celery. Oh my God, Zero That's dear. good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Johnny's a bit. Um, he sounded a bit miffed then. <laughs> because where did you find all them from? <laughs> <laughs> Now look at the amazing detail on that frame. It really is gorgeous. Whether you cut it out in that linen cardstock that comes with your, with your collection, or whether you use some of your other papers. Um, this is that gold, you know, from our luxury guard, ca uh, gold um, card pack stock. of, the yeah, thank you, with down the mirror here, luxury and card. the satin yep. card and the encapsulated glitter. Yep. That's from there. Now I've actually uh, printed off a photo because the outer frame um, I used, this is when Saru came, went down to Chesterfield and I went oh. down to go and uh, support her at a book launch. Um, so that is a lovely pick. Well, how, long, how many years ago was that, that one? Um, before I started dieting. <laughs> It's the it's the uh, it's the uh, bigger version of myself. <laughs> it's a lovely pick, Debbie. Thank you very much. Don't I look different though now? I'm you just do. thinking I look a little bit. I can see where it's come off my face. Yeah. When I printed it out, I'm thinking this is definitely pre before I started dieting. But yeah. Um, yeah, you look, you look slimmer you. now and younger. Sli slimmer version. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to attach both of those together. So I'll come back to that in a second. <laughs> and I'm going to bring in my um, lovely mailbox flowers. I love these. With the addition of that um, template, means that you can create your lovely um, parcel paper to pop it in. It's like having a parcel paper vase, isn't yeah. it, to pop all your flowers into. Um, however, I did say that this is going to be a useful set. So on this occasion, I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to use my flowers. So we're going to bring in... Now, you was like a wealth of knowledge yesterday, Mr. Mosby. Me? Oh, yes. With all you the wildflowers. The wildflower dictionary you did. Oh, yeah. You knew them all. I knew all the flowers, didn't I? them all I? off. Yeah, all um, of them. Yeah, and we, we couldn't make his mind up what we called these, so we called them wildflower sprigs. Wildflower sprigs. <laughs> but we okay, did work out that we had poppies in there and common <laughs> mallows and some bird's foot trefoil in there as well, didn't we? That's what we, we reckoned in there. Absolutely. Foxglove. Yeah, foxglove. Digitalis. I think uh, we've got uh, some crocus uh, uh, in there uh, as well. Wait a minute, what did you call it? A digi? Digitalis, isn't it? Isn't Digitalis. It? Isn't that the Latin name for a foxglove? God uh, almighty, where did you get these? Did you swallow that dictionary? No, I just know all my wildflowers. Yeah, right. I do. I, I see you and Mrs M uh, strolling hand in hand with the yeah. dogs through the wildflower fields. No, skipping hand in hand through the oh, wildflower fields. Oh, skipping hand in hand. Sorry, yeah. skipping hand yeah. in hand. Basket in hand. <laughs> picking the flowers as we go. <laughs> with the police farm. 
close behind us, going, oh, you got a bit of house. Let's get to law, mate. <laughs> uh, I'm just grabbing a piece of Nina cardstock, Ben. Just bear with me, because okay. I'm going to um, pop a, a few of those down. And I'm going to do a little bit of colouring as well. So the lovely thing about these is that you can actually colour with any medium. I'm yeah. just using alcohol pens, because you kindly fetched me over some colours that will actually work with these. Um, so I'm just popping my Nina cardstock onto the top. And then, rather than taping them all down this time, I'm using magnetic shim and doing it the opposite way and then just popping that through and then again as well and I did say this you can um, there is there's elements of these flowers that need the extra embossing because there's the die cut piece but then there is the um, element of um, the extra embossing detail I'm not going to worry too much about this time but this is when you would pop in your purple shim yeah remove your magnetic shim pop all your dies onto the plastic shim um, and then pop your over the top without the magnetic shim and run that through to create that extra um, embossed detail, uh, which we did cover in that launch show yesterday, but I want to speed up. I can't believe the time when we come into this building. Flies over, doesn't it? All the day time. goes very it quickly. absolutely flies by every single time we come in the studio. And time is running away with us again. Not they say, though. They'd, what's that? Well, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Oh, of course it yeah. does. Of course it does. It always does. It always is with you, Mr. Moore. Oh, always is with always you, with you. as well. It does. Bless you. Well, bless your little heart. How's you, the... Oh, you're not here tomorrow, are you? No, you're What's that? You're not here tomorrow. I'm not, no. I think no. you've got... Oh, no, is it tomorrow? Corinne, tomorrow. Oh, is it? Oh, it's Corinne, yes. I don't think I've seen Corinne this year. You are joking I feel me. like I've not seen it in absolutely... Oh, my ages. God, you're kidding. No. Oh, bless you. No, it's months. Months and months and months. I think she's done a few weekends, hasn't she? She has, yes. Yep. I'm going to, because um, we, we were going to go together, um, do you know, too, because we love, um, well, I love, and I know Corinne's wanted to start some craft for herself, but a Zantangle. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to a Zantangle class, and we were going to go together on the same day. Oh. Then I realised, <laughs> when I booked it, then I realised um, uh, Debbie was actually working that day, so oh. I couldn't. So Corinne's going to be going on the Sundays, I'm going on the Saturday, so I had to change it. Oh, I'm really each looking other. forward to having a day with her and just spending the day with her, um, doing a little bit of... Uh, Tangling. It's um, Cassandra's near you, isn't she? She is. It's not far from me. It's about an hour, about an yeah. hour away. So it's not too far. But Has yeah. uh, Corin tangled before then? I don't. I'll be honest. I don't think. I think it's something she just wanted to to do. And um, I think she started with a few bits. But yeah, she's uh, she's really looking forward to it. And I was looking forward to tangling with her. But um, yeah. unfortunately, uh, because Debbie can't read her own diary, doesn't look at things. I'm telling you, I, I get you worse with like? age. Worse with age. I write everything down. Yeah. I put a little segment in my diary and my phone so that on my diary and my phone, it just tells me where I am. And I still managed to book it, pay for it, and then realise I'd got the wrong blinking date. Because I'm hopeless, Mr. Morris. Do you put it on your phone, you say? I put it on my phone oh. and I still managed to. Still managed to. What's the word? Uh, make a mistake. Make a mistake. Yes, it's because you're a word, very busy lady, then. that's what it is. You what was that? It's because you're a very busy lady. Oh, bless you. Yeah, it happens, doesn't it? You know, if you're if you busy, lose track of things, <laughs> book in the wrong dates. That an age. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you were too kind to say that. <laughs> well, you and I, what, we're both 43, aren't we? You know, oh, you're smooth know, talking, Mr. I know how you Rose. feel. You're smooth I'm 44, end of the month, can you believe that? You're 44? 44. Are you really? I know. No way. I am. No, 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 oh, no. I no. am. Absolutely. I don't believe that for a second. It's happening. This uh, three weeks on Sunday, anyone wants to buy me a present, send me a card. What am I doing on my birthday, George? I'm running the Gateshead Half Marathon. Oh, your birthday? Yeah. Can we, oh, can we sponsor you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Funny you should ask that, Debbie. Oh, bless you. Can you really? Because I was just going to say, you'll be, you do, be doing it for charity, won't you? I'm doing it for Alzheimer's Society UK because my mother-in-law's um, sadly um, suffering with Alzheimer's. So I thought it might be a nice thing to raise a bit of money. I, I put the link up on my Facebook page. I'll repost it. I'll oh, repost yeah. It. Repost it. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, fabulous. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're doing that on your birthday. I know. Can you are you mad? You're meant to be doing things that are in... Oh, that well, I do look. I know you do love your running dog. I yeah. do. And here's the thing. I thought, because it's nine o'clock, so I'll be finished by... I'll be finished before 11. So I figured I'd have done all that running. I'd have burnt all those calories so I can then have literally the best <laughs> birthday lunch slash tea. I can eat all the cake. I can drink all the beers. 
I can just stuff my face and not worry because obviously I'm still going to be on the old diet, but I'll have burnt <laughs> about 2,000 calories running 13 miles, then I can just go crazy for the rest of the day. Bless you. That's, that's, is that's that the plan? That is the plan. Yeah, that is that, the plan. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. And I, um, as I say, I, I do like me running. I haven't done a half marathon for four years. And um, I do how, like how far is an half marathon? 13.1 miles. God, blimey. Yeah. It's That's a toughie. It's all right. Not as tough as doing the marathon. That is, no, that is tough. Liam's Who's doing, doing the marathon? The week before. He's doing the Le marathon. How are Liam's doing the London marathon? Week before, yeah. How have I missed that? Yeah. That, he, he's just doing it. For, he's, he's not doing it for charity. He's just doing it for his himself. Oh, bless his little uh, heart. Yeah. Did, oh, that, wow. did that once. And that was enough. You never do it again. I, I, the experience was amazing, <laughs> uh, but it's all the six months training you have to do and the lead up to it. I could never do that again, oh God, especially at my old age. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do any. If I did, I'd uh, do myself an injury. I really can't, I can't run. Nah. You can, I think everyone can run. I, I never could, but I trained myself. I did the London Marathon in three hours, 54. Yep. Uh, and I run. My quick, my quickest time in the, a half marathon. I've run it in one hour thirty-five. <gasps> half marathon, but I'm hope I'm hoping to get under one fifty now. I'm about I'm getting old. Steve. Well, I think you're doing a fabulous job. I Thank really you. do because I can't I can't run. I know Michelle's just started running, hasn't she? She's, she's she got on the running. treadmill the other day, and yes. uh, uh, Ben, I didn't realise he's a personal trainer as well, he is isn't he? He's a personal trainer. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he was like, "Oh, do a bit of running," and he just set the treadmill on run, and she ran a five k in just over half an hour. Wow! First time ever. Wow! Yeah. Wow! 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 That's amazing. It that is really amazing. is amazing. Yeah. Um, I keep saying that I'm gonna. Go on, the treadmill, but... No? No. No, 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 no. Actually, I, I like walking. I, I, I love Walking's walking. Walking's good for you? Uh, yes, I like to walk, so I do a lot of walking. Um, and it's it's my favourite thing. I've started getting, um, especially now the nights, the night, wait a minute, yeah. the mornings are light. It's really nice to go out early morning. Um, so I'll, uh, and then come back to a nice breakfast. That's it? Yeah. Well, they say, don't they, a, nice, a brisk walk sometimes is as good as a, a Oh, job. I feel invigorated when I do that. Oh, yeah. I just don't think running and me go together, as in hmm. just can't run. So um, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I know what you mean. <laughs> not, not a fan of the gym then? No. <laughs> no, I can think of better things to do with me that, my time. Uh, but there you go. Right, so I've got me... <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear him in my ear? I can the hear him in your ear. In my ear what are. is he like, <laughs> uh, Johnny? He's a little rascal, he is, is what he is. Now, colour all your bits in. Now, Ben, you didn't get me a green, so I'm going to leave the green bits. But uh, oh, it's okay, don't worry. Uh, because I've got some more coloured in, and I've, I ac actually got a load left over from yesterday as well, would you believe? Um, so, yeah, just take your time colouring them all in. You're going mm. to die cut them. You've got your stalks as well, so you can either keep these separate or you can add your stalks to them. Yeah. So by that, I mean this lovely piece here, you could add um, at the top... So it creates that lovely flower. If you want to, you don't have to, um, but just make sure you've got a ni nice few to be able to choose from. And I'm just going to scatter all of mine around here. Now, what I've done is I've also I've got all my flowers ready. I've got myself a little bowl. Um, I've got my picture um, with my fat face there. Um, it's then, not. Let me come and inspect this. I is, think you're, you're over egging the pudding here. It is. Look, 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 look. So much different. And plus, it could be the angle that I'm squished up to Sarah mm. as well. But yeah, it's all, I'm all, I'm all, oh. Mm, you yeah. don't, she doesn't. It's because you're so thin now. That's thin. why you look, thin. you look nice, but you look now, you look. <laughs> oh, you little love. You, you know, I have to make a girl feel special, you do. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've stamped as well using our, um, I've used our circular nesting dies. I love my stitched ones. Um, but I've just stamped these on. Now, I, I'm going to do a little, just a tiny little colour just into that flower because some of those stamps have got a lovely little colouring area for you as well. Yeah. So not too, uh, not too much. You don't have to do any of that, you know, with your light source and all that kind of thing. You can just literally do a bit of block colouring over the top. And I was going to use a bit of green, but because I haven't got a green, I'll use this... Um, I use this yellow, it'll be fine. It can look a bit green. There we go. And that's just all it needs is that tiny little bit and then it can match in with the rest of your things. So if I push those all to one side, because what I have got here 
is I've gone for a little mini scrap page. Now, I've used some of the papers. I've actually done, do you know our distress tool? Oh, yeah. I've kind of distressed around the edges, and I like to tear my papers. Now, I was going to use that side, but then I thought it might detract a little bit from everything else. So I'm using the plain side on this one for the main base, and I've put myself a couple of little jewels on there, and just gone round and tore little areas after I've distressed, and I've added using um, crushed, vel uh, crushed velvet around the outside, just a little bit of ink to give that look lovely lift there I've also popped on as well let me just grab hold of my where have I put all my bits oh the rear Debbie what you like um I'm gonna just add underneath a little bit of the contrasting paper so I didn't want too much because it's gonna sit underneath my tear line like so so I'm gonna use a bit of wet glue yeah just onto the back oh no Debbie you've sealed it again I don't even remember doing that oh dear what are you like what am I like yes what am I like so I'm just going to go all the way around with my wet glue. Oh, it's such a sacrilege to cover that gorgeous tape up. That's why you need two pads. Yeah, or at least. Le at least the minimum of two pads. Um, but yeah, I've just done this to an eight by eight and then gone down again a quarter of an inch with each one and just distressed round the edge. And then I'm going to stick this bit underneath. So I'm going to pop a little bit of, um, and I've only distressed around one of the sides to match in with the sides coming down here. I didn't need to do it on that one because it's all covered up. So I'm just going to slide that into place. So it's giving that little hint of that um, paper. Mm -hmm. And then just hold that down now. There we go. And then what I've done with um, the contrasting piece, or the other piece, is I've cut myself some little, uh, I call them little tags, you know, your tail tags. I think there's probably a better word oh, for it. Oh, pennant. It's like a pennant, oh, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Pennant, that's right, yeah. yes. Um, in that style and that shape. So just depending on your size that you want to go with, I've actually cut this to four inches wide, and then I've gone down uh, to three inches, or you could go down a little bit more, and it's just to add a little bit of layering onto the top. Exactly the same way I've took my distress tool. If you haven't got a distress tool, you can take your scissors and you can run down the edges of your paper to create that uh, uh, effect as well. I do like the distress tool because I think you get a better distress yeah, look yeah, than you do absolutely. with scissors. That's just my personal opinion. So, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just about adding some layers to your scrapbook pages and composing um, your pieces. So I'm gonna just drop that down into this corner, like so. And then I'm gonna layer that on the top. I could lift it up, but because it's going in a scrapbook, I'm gonna keep it flat. So I'm just gonna add a bit of glue onto this side as well. Mm -hmm. And cause I'm using that same, do you know the um, the other side of the same pattern? Yeah. It all brings it together. Yeah. It looks really nice when you, when you do that. Um, and then I'm gonna add now my photo onto the top, like so. And then we're gonna add some extra little elements as well. So I'm gonna, just switch that up to my tape pen. There we go. And pop that down. Aww. And then I'm going to start now doing that, what we call that lovely little bit of extra um, titivation. Titivation. Um, titivation. Yes, give it a nice spruce up. Give it all the extra um, oomph there. Oh, Debbie, you wanted that on the bottom, not the top, because I want to stick your flowers behind it. Come here, you silly sausage. Right, pop that down there. And then lift that off and I've deliberately oh God, remind me I need to get myself some more pot pads because oh, there yeah, ain't nothing I can trouble. do with them now I've um, had them near the heater um, I'm l not leaving that top because I'm going to start popping some flowers behind as well so I'm just going to place that a little bit yeah there we go and then start adding now my little pieces into the underneath like so so I'm going to before I start sticking them all down I'm going to place them in and have my sprigs underneath let me grab my dotty tape pen and pop that underneath. Whilst you're sticking, Terry Anderson says, talking about running, if I'm running, you all better start running because something would be chasing me. <laughs> if Terry's running, <laughs> he's only running away from something. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's Terry. Oh, and a bear. Uh, Lynn says, the only thing I can run is the tap. Uh, I like that one. Uh, <laughs> and Colleen says, this is lovely. So you say, I'm starting to walk again after two knee replacement surgeries. Oh, bless. Uh, I love to walk and I cannot wait to walk normal again. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Once you're up and about properly with, the, with your new knees, a bit of pain-free walking that would be, wouldn't it? I'm always interested with people who have like replacement like hips and knees. Do you, can you go back to 
Like, can you go back to doing as much walking as you did before? I think so, yeah, because my friend um, Linda, she had an, um, an, a new knee. Yeah. My cousin had one very, very young. He was only in his 20s when he had his done. A knee replacement uh, in his 20s? Yeah, he had an injury, so wow. he had to have a knee, a knee replacement. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can, yeah, absolutely, yeah. It, no, it doesn't hold him back. He doesn't, you know, it's not stopped him from well, doing anything. Well, I suppose anything. saying that, you think of old Andy Murray, don't you, the tennis player? He had a hip replacement, didn't he? Did and he? What, yeah, went back out on the circuit, didn't he? I'm really? sure he had a new hip, Andy Murray. I'm wow. sure he did. Maybe I might have got that wrong. Um, it, no, it was after. He, he's never. He's never. I don't, he's had problems with hip. I'm sure he had a hip replacement. He's not come back and won, you know, tournaments and stuff. But he's definitely played on the pro circuit again. Has he really? Hip resurfacing surgery, so not a replacement. Then I think that's when they what's like they shave the hip down. Don't I'm going to say what's one of them. Fit it's better back in the. Listen to me, sound like I'm a doctor. <laughs> so it can fit better back in the, the, jo the, the ball goes better in the socket. I I've been thankful that I've not had to have anything like that. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but because uh, I can't imagine it's very pleasant. No. I can't imagine that at all. I feel my knees now and again. I think that's, that's with all the running. Do you know, now and again you get a little sharp pain in your knee. But yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. you get to my age, Debbie, these things <laughs> start to happen. <laughs> Is that is that right, Ben? Yeah, you right? get you, once you're on the other side of forty, like me, things, oh, things start God, going I wish wrong. I, I wish I could say I remember it, but it's that long ago <laughs> that I was that age that I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> now I've just done a little bit of decorating around the bottom of there as well. Uh, now I've got my flowers stuck down. I'm just going to add a, a squidge of glue just to give it that little lift as well. Um, I've done myself a little. Um, I love this Let Your Dreams Blossom because this lovely lady, Let My Dreams Blossom, uh, which is why I thought it was quite an appropriate one uh, for, for this particular scrapbook page that I've got. And then Stop and Smell the Flowers. I love this sentiment. Again, really, really lovely sentiments behind these. Um, and then I'm just going to add a little bow. So it looks like they're in the little vase and a little bow just onto the top. There we go. And then you've got, and I've got to let that dry a little bit. There we go. And I'm not going to add anything else to it, but it could be a little home decor piece. It could be a scrapbook piece. Um, I do scrapbooks in 12 by 12 as well as 8 by 8. But you can be doing things and using this collection um, for, like I said, card making, scrapbook making, um, into your home decor pieces as well. Because uh, it's just such a glorious I mean, everybody, I, I don't know of anybody who doesn't like a flower. No. Um, and the wildflowers, there's something about the wildflowers that just give this a whole different look. And I absolutely think that this is one of those collections you will definitely use time and time and time again. Yeah, absolutely right. It's for all occasions. It's for everybody. It's for all seasons as well. Um, and I tell you what. This really is um, a deal today because you're going to get all of the goodies here for just $63.99 if you're platinum, $79.20. Uh, you've got 15 beautiful wildflower dyes in there along with that stencil, which you'll use in conjunction with your brown paper, which comes with this. So you can make those beautiful little wraparounds. You don't have to, but I think they look really nice to create that bouquet effect. So that, that's the first sort of set of components within the bundle. Then you've got that beautiful edgeable. So much chat about this. By the way, uh, we will try and feature this more later on as well but um, if you do want to see more demos go back to yesterday's shows from wake up call uh, through to the launch through to last night's show as well you'll see loads i think at least six possibly seven demos on this collection uh, again that beautiful embossing folder was featured too uh, we used a lot of those beautiful stamps in there all relatable to the flowers that you're going to get in this collection you know uh, let love grow bloom where you're planted uh, you know, we, what I love about our collections, when we have a theme, we try and make sure that the sentiments are themed around that uh, so that they're totally usable. There's that beautiful uh, wreath that you've just seen as well. That's all of your hardware in there. And then, of course, you get all of your consumables. So 28 sheets of that gorgeous luxury linen cardstock. Uh, and then you're going to get your paper pads. You'll get the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 double sided. And it is quite simply um, a masterpiece as far as uh, paper pads are concerned. How we manage to outdo ourselves each and every time we release a new collection or release a new paper pad, I have no idea. But this quite simply, and you guys are agreeing, is one of the very best, I think, that we've ever done. You get the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 included in the bundle, uh, the price on the screen there. If you do want to get more of the individuals, you can do that. We still do have uh, all of the consumables available as individual items. Just hit the shop the uh, day button to find all 
all of those right there. Uh, Rhonda says, uh, I had a knee replacement and I walked just fine now. It did take a while. Though. I can imagine when you get back to doing it after a big operation like that. But good for you, Rhonda. Uh, Lois says, gorgeous layout, Debbie. Thank you. Uh, and Anne says, Ben, you are the same age as my oldest. You are not old. Thank you. Should we have a break? I think we shall. Uh, let us give you the opportunity to check out your carts and check out your baskets. Uh, when we come back, we're going to have a look at some amazing deals which have just been added, uh, some 24-hour deals that apparently were very busy over the weekend. So we've brought them back for a further 24 hours. What are those deals that hear you cry? Well, you will find out after this short intermission. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today on Crafters TV. We're in Studio 2 for the first two shows today. Uh, Craig's taken over Studio 1. He's uh, going to be... He's, he's on QVC later, isn't he? So we've all had to vacate, you know. I mean, he's just outside. Big D, there he big, is. There he is, Big D there. <laughs> yeah, getting his nails he's busy filed. Work. God love he? him, he's busy working. Is he? Last Do time I was out there, they were filing his nails, <laughs> feeling great. 
We're getting someone to go off to the cafe for him. Oh, go and give no, me an iron brew, aye. <laughs> Yesterday, I don't think I saw him from me coming in to like him literally, it'd be nearly the end of the day. He was here a long time yesterday, mm. literally in this studio, filming some, uh, filming some stuff for yeah. you all. So he works incredibly hard, he does, bless him. Yeah, he works, he works quite hard, doesn't he? <laughs> Does not stop telling us about it as well. <laughs> Last night he finished. He must have been in here for an extra hour telling us how hard he worked. He was messaging us when he got home about how hard he worked. Then how he had to come in today and work harder. <laughs> some people just some people just get on with it. <laughs> you know, some people don't go on about it all the time. <laughs> but he stays up late and he watches all the wrestling. No wonder he's tired. Woke up at one o'clock to watch Raw, the follow-up to the WrestleMania events over the weekend. He's only got himself to blame. He's obviously not watching, because if he was, he'd be in here right no, now. he's got his head in his computer, so oh, he's doing some work, yeah. I thought that he might have us on whilst he was uh, <laughs> on his computer. He's obviously not. He's, he'd have come in and hit me by now. Uh, right, so April Fool's was over the weekend, wasn't it? Who fell for our April Fool's, by the way? Who, who fell for that? The paper pad. Uh, let us know in the comments if you did. I'm sure you did. It was rice paper, by the way, that we were eating in that video. Uh, we were actually eating uh, real paper. Uh, but we did launch some uh, amazing deals over the weekend. You've got to watch on the weekends. We've got some amazing deals for you on the weekend. Uh, some 24-hour uh, deals. And actually, this proved so popular on Saturday that we brought it back for you in case you weren't watching on the weekend. Uh, weekends now are a real destination point for us here at Crafty TV. So make sure you tune in. Uh, we're bringing back the big shows. We're bringing back those uh, opportunities to shop in each and every show. So make sure you're watching. This deal launched Saturday. It was 24 hours. We brought it back, though. And it's an unbelievable unbelievable bundle of some of our amazing uh, Spectrum Noir goodies with a huge pack or packs of our, oh hello, of our classics, 24, no 36, no 48 of our classics you're going to be getting here. Alcohol markers, dual ended pens with the fine nib and that chisel nib. Um, and once again, I always see these, it's entirely up to you, right? But I sort of see these as if you have become very confident with your tri blends and you've now, maybe you've done the Academy of Colour, for example, and you've got to that point where you're very happy um, about your different colours and your blending techniques. The classics are that kind of uh, next step for you because what you get is one. Um, color blend per pen but then when you pick up lots of the different packs like we've got here you then get all of the different color blends um, within the individual pens so that you can then choose how you blend um, and all of the different blends that you go for so uh, within this set you're going to get your uh, pack of 12 in the brights uh, you're also going to get your pack of 12 in the jewels you'll get your 12 in the uh, pastels and then you've got your 12, I think that's the vintage, isn't it? Yeah, and then your 12 pens in the vintage. So you've got 48 classic pens. Wouldn't it be nice if in this bundle then we gave you somewhere to store them? We do. We then give you the pen trays. Now these will hold up to 72 of your pens. So you can easily hold those 48 plus another 24 in there. And again, depending on the space that you've got within your craft room, you can store these uh, vertically. You can store these horizontally. You can stagger these as well. So it's a very, very clever system. And when you get more pens, you simply buy more pen trays and add them to the top. Then on top of that within this bundle, all of this, by the way, for 55 quid, $79, we're going to give you a set of our uh, classic uh, color blend pencils. Those ones are the primaries. So again, blend beautifully individually of anything else, right? And you've got all of those gorgeous colors in there. High grade, highly pigmented wax pencils, artist quality for an absolutely smashed down price. Using these in conjunction with your alcohol markers, again, takes your, you know, like your coloring with your alcohol markers is kind of you coloring in high definition. You then add the pencils on top takes you to full HD as far as I'm concerned. That's the way I would look at it. So that with that and that is amazing because they all work together and you've got the storage. And then wouldn't it be brilliant if you had some sort of, I don't know, coloring guide that you could have that you could watch and get some more inspiration from maybe, you know, the round about two hours of inspiration from, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's included as well. And whilst this is, um, a, uh, a video DVD, if you like, from a few years back, what you're going to learn in there is still very relevant. All the hints and uh, tips are very relevant 
uh, right now as well. So you know what, maybe you haven't yet delved into the Academy of Colour or maybe you've enjoyed that and you now want further tuition. It's brilliant, you, you get that included with all of that. 24 hours you've got to jump in and grab it and then it's gone. £55.97 or 79.86. So first time I've seen this, but here you get uh, 24 exclusive, uh, oh, 24 exclusive digi stamps with colouring guides. You get tutorials for hairs, clothes, fur, backgrounds, over 80 colour guides to aid your illustrations and uh, two and a half hours of inspiration with lovely Leanne. Watch, practice and develop. That's decent, that, isn't it? That is brilliant. All of that for that price, 24 hours. Go, go, go. Now, uh, Debbie's got some more deals over there. These are also uh, from the weekend. Another 24 hour deal, Debbie. Oh, look at the sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle with our luxury cardstock at an amazing price as well. And it's not something that we're like getting rid of. I keep saying this. We just like to bring it now and again because essential cardstock is what we all need. But luxury eye hand cardstock. We've got 30 sheets plus your additional two here at the front. Thanks to our lovely Craig pointing that out. Uh, where you've got your encapsulated glitter, you've got your mirror card, and then you have what I call the satin card. It's like the, the matte mirror yeah. to the high re reflective one. Um, so you've got your gold pack. Look at the price on the screen. Wow. £38 or $60. But look at the Club Platinum price. Look at the purple box where you are. If you are in Platinum Club, you can get it for £30.40. And, and it's not just one pack. You've got the silver. Again, encapsulated glitter, mirror card and the satin card. You've got your blue, the ice blue tones, which you can see are absolutely exquisite when I give them that wib wibble wobble there. Ooh, yeah. uh, you've got the uh, gorgeous purple stroke pink uh, pack as well. So again, 30 sheets, plus your two extra ones in there too. You've got green. So you've got all your gorgeous green in there and you've also got red. Don't know what's happened to the bottom bit, but look at that. That's 30, 60, That's 90. Incredible. 120, 150, 180 sheets of A4 high-end luxury cardstock at that absolutely ridiculous price. Johnny, what does that make them work out at a club? Is it about a five? Is it about five each? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, uh, twenty-five, thirty. It is. Yeah. Just a little bit over five pound a pack. Then nine ninety-nine to buy individually. Yeah. But today you're gonna to get them at that knockdown price, whether you're going for without your club membership, the white box there is what, if you're not in the club, if you're not, got, if you're not, in, if you're not in the bronze or the silver or the gold or the platinum club, that's the price that you're gonna pay. But the platinum price there is absolutely incredible value for money. It truly is. Essential card stock that we produce worldwide yeah year in year out in all of these gorgeous colors that you can see that that is a massive amount of cardstock for a fabulous price it really is 17p per sheet wow it, that's wow. what it works out if you're platinum i mean that is oh, is it a 24 hour yeah, deal i just said producer johnny 24 yeah, yeah, hour yeah. deal yeah what we here tomorrow can't hold prices like that forever First come, first serve them. Like, what an opportunity. That's like a cartload deal on a random Tuesday in the middle of April right there, isn't it? That's incredible. Grab it whilst it's here. Uh, that is a super, super buy. Talking of super, super buys, uh, have you not yet joined the Academy of Colour? If you haven't, firstly, do it. Second and, secondly, secondly, do it today because the Academy of Colour at a redonkulous low price today. When we launched this back along, uh, £148, $197, and what for what you get uh, within this uh, collection, with all of the extra sort of digital tuition that you get on top of it, that's incredible. But today, we're, well, we're taking off this, which is ridiculous. It then comes down to this if you're platinum. I've got to say, and producer Johnny just said the same in my ear, I think this is the lowest price I've ever seen uh, the original Academy of Colour for and this is your first step on that journey of becoming the colorist that you want to be. Maybe you've never colored before and you're thinking, 
oh, I'd love to do what the, you know, what the experts do on Crafters TV. I'd love to be able to get to that level. This is where you get started. Maybe you're somebody perhaps who is at a point with your colouring and you've got a little bit stuck and you, you would like a system to kind of get you to that level that you want to be at, then this is for you. And it's also for you if you are somebody perhaps who's got a little bit stuck in the rut. Maybe you're a watercolourist who wants to try using our alcohol markers or vice versa, then this system is for you. It has been specifically curated uh, to help you wherever you are on your colouring journey to help you take that next step and then that next step and then that next step and get to a point by the time you've completed the Academy of Colour that you have become that colourist that you always wanted to become in the first place. The original bundle that you're getting here is just mammoth because you, not only do you get the binder, but you get the box full of goodies as well. I'll show you the box first of all. They all come absolutely beautifully presented. Um, these boxes are going to look amazing in your craft room, stacked above each other. You've got that wonderful magnetic clasp here. If you can just hear the quality of this box. Here we go. Here we go. Did you hear that? Do it one more time. One more. One more. What, me or the box? Both. Oh, both. <laughs> ready, ready, ready? Satisfying. It is satisfying. Little attention. It's those attention to details. It it's the, is. The devil is in the detail, Mr. It, is. it really is. Your colouring journey starts here. <laughs> Open it up. Oh, there that you've got. This is... You don't know. You have to provide your own noise. That doesn't come with a box. <laughs> uh, but you get three layers of crafting goodness because uh, the first layer here, you get all of your uh, duo colours. Dual um, ended alcohol markers, not new colours, but colours that have been specifically curated to work with the tutorials that you'll get with Leanne. 18 hours worth of tutorials you will get. You will go through. She will go through everything that you need. Uh, and these are the colours that she will be using. Um, within those tutorials. So alcohol markers, the 16 of those. You're then also going to get your duo colours in the water colour. And again, uh, eight colours, well, 16 actually different colours that you've got there, plus your opaque white marker, you get a spritzer and the paint brushes that you need uh, as well to be working with as far as the, um, the instructions concerned. And then on top of that, in this bottom layer, and I'll probably show you in the folder, might be easier, you get all of the stamps. Um, I'll go through these in the folder. As well as the stamps, you're going to get the uh, cardstock that you need. So watercolour cardstock, you're going to get um, alcohol marker cardstock in there. Plus you get the binder, and within the binder, you get all of your panels and your pockets as well, because the pockets you're going to keep a lot of your work in. I, I always say this, I see this as a real journey. And even if you start on day one and you do, I don't know, say the first half hour, first hour, whatever it might be, and you do it and you're not happy with it, keep all of your work in the folder in the pockets that you get provided and date it. And then when you come back, I don't know, two weeks, four weeks, a month, two months, three months down the line, you can kind of track your progress and see how far that you've come. But you're going to get all of your panels in here, which tells you all of the additional Academy of Colours which are to come. Obviously, they've all been launched now. Uh, you can still pick up, I think we've still got available the portraits and the flora and fauna on the website currently. Uh, I'm sure the rest will come back in stock at some point. But look, you then get all of these stamps included as well. And these stamps that you get in your box are the stamps that Leanne will be using when she brings you the tutorials. And again, they've all been designed specifically for various purposes so you can practice different levels of shading and you know, working out where the light source is coming from. Having these stamps in here as well, you might think those are a little bit weird, but there's method behind the madness with everything in here. Also in that first box, you're gonna receive all of these stamps again so you can practice um, things like coloring your flora and fauna. You can practice things like uh, you know, your hair and your skin tones in here. And then also in your first box, uh, you will get even more of these beautiful um, stamps. Again, practicing coloring in your florals. Nice as well that we do give you some sentiments because whilst this is, you know, um, obviously an academy, a journey for you to practice all of your coloring, nice to have actual stamps and sentiments that you, know, you can turn into projects. And like I say, you will also get, oh, get back on there. You will also get uh, these little pockets as well so you can keep your work in so when you do a bit of colouring make sure you um, keep them in there mark and date them so you can come back to them and as I say see how far you have gone as far as your colouring journey is concerned and then all of these panels you get more pockets so that when you do get your next uh, set of the Academy of Colour you can store them all within that binder you'll get also inside the box by the way um, your card and on that card you've got a QR code you scan that QR code 
that will take you to all of your tutorials um, as far as uh, Leanne's concerned, 18 hours worth. Um, and you, money just can't buy that. You can't put a price on what that is going to do for your coloring. Great price today for that, 63.20, 71.20 if you're platinum. Snap it up, don't miss out. Um, that again is another one of those 24 hour deals as far as the ones that we brought back from the weekend are concerned. So jump in and grab that today. I know Debbie's got one more deal to show you, but before we do see that deal, uh, we need to get the vote going, Debbie. I know, I completely forgot. <laughs> you want to because the Johnny said, get, your line, get them lined up, get them lined up. Get them lined uh, up. Right, so back to the very beginning where we started with I love you to the moon and back. Number one um, is the first one. Number two was the Easter basket. So that's our Easter basket. And then number three was my uh, scrapbook page. So that's our number three. Okay. So it's three, it's two, or it is one. It's up to you. All right, get voting. Uh, George, you've gone for one. What number was the basket? Two. Two, I'm going two. Uh, you get voting. You, uh, Johnny's gone three, so we've got the bases covered. Uh, you've got about three minutes to get your votes in. Um, before we disappear, I do just want to recap on this deal for you. But Debbie's got another 24 hour deal to show you. Uh, if you love your edibles, how about a 65% saving off some grande edibles? Oh, I, honestly, I can't get over that. Um, I'm dying to see what it says on the screen. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! That is a shocker. Yes. Um, what did you say 24 hours? Yes. 24 hour deal, right, I'm gonna tell you right now, do not hang around for this deal because our edibles are absolutely, honestly, the, the most versatile dyes that you can use. These are our grande edibles or our grand edibles. Look at the price on the screen, 18 pounds or 20 dollars. Look at the platinum price. We might as well give these away. How much were these when we first brought them out? 12.99 each. Good grief. This is your daisy lace. Look at the size of this. This is a big, chunky edible. That can go across as a panel, maybe on the bottom of your boxes, maybe on the bottom of the base of the box, or the top of the lid, or maybe down the side of a card, across the top of the card. Absolutely incredible value for money. Four designs not to choose from. Oh, no, sorry. You are getting these four. £14.40 or $16 if you club platinum. Or if you're brand new today, wow, join up to that club and take advantage of this fantastic 24 hour deal. That's the gingham lace. The gingham lace is absolutely exquisite as well. That's going to work with your wildflowers. That could be the trellis part of your, you know, your card and add your flowers up there. Uh, you've also got the balloon flowers. I know this is one of your personal favourites because you said you'd never heard of balloon flowers before. No, I had thought you? we made it up but absolutely stunning and these can like i said they can go this way they can go this way they can go on the top of your cards absolutely anywhere you want we've got tons of tuition what i can guarantee is not at the price that you're seeing on the screen uh, the rose garden another beautiful design so that is all four of those fabulous designs for <laughs> pardon you oh my god what a deal Probably one of the best deals I've ever seen on Edgeables ever. Um, £14.40 or $16. Look at the, the white box. If you are not in the club, um, £18 or $20 is still a steal because that works out at four. Is that, wait a minute, what's four? Is that four? Uh, fours into 18, it's uh, about oh my four pounds, four twenty-five a die. Thank dime. you very much, thank you. Or five dollars each. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely incredible value for money. Not one not two, not three, but four absolutely fabulous, fabulous edibles um, for that amazing price. That is that is definitely one that you need to be getting into your baskets. If you've loved our edibles, you've never had these, you're probably never going to own them. If you're not going to get them today at that price, no. you're probably never going to own them. No. Um, but for those of you that do want to own them, that don't already own them, stick them in your basket, check it out, because it is only for 24 hours only. 
Wow. Amazing. Uh, pick your jaws up off the floor. Uh, that is incredible. Uh, don't forget, of course, our uh, quirky stamps still available. The official launch of those coming up in just an hour's time, just over an hour's time. Uh, it is the showstopper deal that you're seeing here where you get basically, you get all of the uh, brand new eight quirky sentiments, which were a lot of fun. Um, and then on top of that, for an extra £10 or $10, you get the rocker blocks and two of our opaque pigment ink pads as well. Uh, they should cost you another £21, $32, but you just pay an extra 10 today. £30, £34, £41, £32 is your platinum price, and we'll see those in more detail in an hour. But what's one demo of the show? I'm so nervous. What's one demo of the show? I win two. Oh! <laughs> Yes. Aww. Super cute. That's lovely. Do you know what? Very in keeping with Easter and a very quick, simple, easy basket to put together, as you saw. And the fact is that from that same sheet, you can make them smaller. Just by bringing up your sides tighter, you can make a smaller basket as well. Um, so absolutely, a really, really quick, easy. And those stamps are meant for things like this. Mm. And the lovely detail of them as well. So I am really looking forward to the launch. I've got tons more. I've got about six lined up there. Um, for later on uh, that I've got my hands ready to go. We're going to do lots of different styles of heat embossing. We're going to do some onto watercolour backgrounds. Um, I've even got template library, even though we haven't got the template Ooh. library, I've got something from the template library that I incorporated into design because when I did these, that was still available. Yeah. Um, so they've kind of let me keep it, but all of these stamps are going to work with all of your things that you already have in your sash. So make sure you tune in for the official launch at 2 p.m. where myself and Ben will be joining you and sharing all our lovely things. Amazing. We shall look forward to that. In the meantime, make sure you check out your baskets. Make sure you check out the uh, Teller Tuesday deals as well. Uh, and of course, all those deals as far as Easter is concerned as well. We will see you in an hour's time for that official launch. Until then, though, bye for now. Thank you.